isn't it when I teach a lesson what was I thinking good morning to all of you and welcome to my gothic edition of the weekly spellathon uh, thank you all for joining me today the weather's absolutely lovely so I'm, I'm really uh, touched that you would choose to come and do the spellathon uh, rather than be outside but I do hope you will go out and get some some of this lovely sunshine um, afterwards so uh Lots of exciting things coming up in the next two weeks. Um, particularly uh, next week, we have got a fantastic lesson on Wednesday about Shakespeare's Globe Theatre um, with a little fundraising in there as well. So please do make sure you tune in for that one. So um, Mummy English has been very busy looking at the live chat today and uh, she has sent me through lots of names ready for a shout out. So here we go. Hello to Amy, who is 11 in Cardiff, Arihant, who is 10, and Aroni, who is 8, who looks forward to the Spellathon, um, Labiba, oh, sorry, Labour, who is 9, who loves all the videos. Thank you. Uh, a big shout out to Anaya Sadiq and uh, Joseph, who would also like a shout out. There you go, Joseph. Hello to Scarlett Snan, who is still working at the doctor's reception. Uh, well done and thank you, Scarlett Snan. Uh, Vanessa and Alex, hello to you. Shout out to William, who is nine, and Yasmin, who is seven, and they have taken part in every single spellathon. Make sure you two give yourselves a pat on the back for that. Fantastic. And uh, shout out to Sharon. It's her first live spellathon. Sharon, welcome. There's your shout out. I hope you do really well in the spelling test today. Hello to Yasmin, who is nine, um, Bonnie, who is 11 in Basford, to Lily. 
Um, Varun in uh, Reading, hello to you. Harini, who is nine. Ben, who is 10. Izzy, who is eight, and they're in Litchfield. Hello to Zach and Flory in Wokingham and to Nalupa from Bramcut in Nuneaton. So, um, hello and big shout out to all of you. Mummy English just sent me a message to say my hair's sticking out the sides like I've got two horns. Um, it's Gothic Horror Week, but I am not impersonating a devil. So, uh, that looks a bit better. Okay, so um, lots more shout outs coming up later. Um, but I think we should probably get on with the spellathon. So if you've got your pen and your paper ready, uh, let's get started with our key stage one spellings. So number one, rat, rat. Number two, cat, cat. Number three, bat, bat. You can see lots of you in the live chat getting it perfectly correct. Well done. Number four, black, black. Number five, whack. Whack. That's how we're going to take out those zombies in our gothic horror stories we've been writing this week. Number six, sack, sack. Number seven, broom. Is there room on the broom? Broom. What do you call two witches that live together? Broom mates. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> number eight. Dark. Dark. <clears throat> number nine. Haunt, haunt. Number 10, horror, horror. Number 10, Oh, sorry, no, number 11. <laughs> Some fun and games in a live spelling test, isn't it? Uh, number 11, grave. Grave. Number 12, fear. Fear. Number 13, near, near. Number 14, creek, creek. And number 15, the final word in the key stage one spellings is weak, weak. Not as in seven days, but as in fragile. It's a homophone. Okay, so before I pop those spellings up on the board. I want to say a really big special shout out to Phoebe and Harry Knapp and to Ella May, Freddie and Flo. Big shout out to all of you and I hope you do really well in the Spellathon today. Right, 
So as always, I'll pop the spellings up on the board so you can mark your own work. Um, if you need longer than the allotted time, um, if you're watching this on catch up, you can just pause um, or you can come back to the video later. And uh, if you didn't do the key stage spelling, the key stage one spellings, or if you're not marking your own work now, you can just, like me, have a little boogie to the music instead. Okay, let's swap all these bits of paper over. Here we go. Okay. De -de -de. There we go. Play. Good luck. <laughs> Well done, Jessica, you got more correct. Run, but I can't stop running because you're not my friend. Listen, listen to me, hear me. You can't stop chasing your dream just because somebody in your life will chase you. You can't stop believing in yourself just because somebody in Yep, your life RS, they were easy. You can't stop chasing the dreams of your You've got to make sure that the key stage one spellings so that everybody has got a good chance of doing well. And if they're too easy for you, you can do the next key stage or the third or the fourth. Hello Frankie, hello Arjun in Hertfordshire, right let's move on, pause, uh, well done to all of you, slide that across there, smooth, okay uh, so let's get on with our key stage two spellings, uh, pens at the ready, here we go, number one, ghost, Ghost. Number two, castle. Castle. Number three, vampire. Vampire. Number four, possibly an even better way to kill off your zombies in your gothic horror, bludgeon, bludgeon. <sighs> Number five, turret, turret. Number six, gothic, gothic. Number seven, cemetery, cemetery. Number eight, monster, monster. Lots of you in the live chat getting them absolutely correct. If you want to challenge yourself and not see the spellings from other people, you can um, hide the live chat. And you can always hide it and then 
uh, reveal it again whenever you want to see what the live chat is saying. And if parents, if you're um, looking how to do that, there's three little dots next to live chat and um, you should be able to click on that and uh, find out how you can hide the chat. Number nine, skeleton. Skeleton. Number 10, silence, silence. Number 11, corridor, corridor. Number 12, whisper, whisper. Number 13, unlucky for some, shadow, shadow. Number 14, decaying, decaying. And number 15, creature, creature. That was the final word in the key stage two spellings. Okay, let's have a few shout outs. Let's see what Mummy English has sent through for me. So, uh, hello to um, Ellie, Max, and Avery in Barwell. Hello to Naomi, who is 10. Hello to the Smith family in Coventry, who love my lessons. Thank you, Smith family. That's really nice. Hello to Natasha in Kettering. Shout out to Archie. Hello to Rupika in India. Hello to 5B at Coleridge Primary School. Hope you're all doing the Spellathon. Hello to um, Yati, who is 10, and Navia, who is 6, in Winnersh. Hello to Juliet and Isaac in Bristol. Hannah, who is 8, in Rugby. Uh, Jess in Alton. A shout out to uh, Dinu from Maidstone. Olivia and Francesca, who are in Dunstan. And uh, Hannah and her nanny, who are doing the spellings. And um, hello again to Frankie. You've made it through twice, Frankie. Uh, Mia, who is 11, in Shirley. Ben and Arthur in Guildford and shout out to Bonnie in Liverpool and also um, Nanny Elaine and Grandad Roy I understand that you're still participating in the spelling test every Friday so I hope that you uh, do well in it today. Okay I'll pop the spellings on the board and uh, mark your spellings or we'll have a little boogie up to you. Play. There we go.
Okay, um, you'll still be able to see these if I just slide it that way, hopefully. So if you're still marking them, you, you can. So um, I just want to say a very big thank you um, and a very, very big shout out to these people who helped me immensely yesterday by meeting with me on Zoom and giving me lots of ideas of um, how I can continue to bring you everything about English on YouTube. So um, a big thank you to Russell and Lewis in Dumfries, um, to Amber, who is 10. Uh, thank you to Ellie, who is seven in Leicestershire. Isaiah, who is eight in London, Peter and Angela in Hampshire, Frankie, thank you to you, Neve, who is eight in Harrow, my hometown. Hello, uh, hello and thank you to Amelia, who is 10 in North Wales, and um, Emilia, who is nine in York, that was a little bit confusing so, <laughs> uh, in the Zoom meeting, and Scarlett, and uh, William, who is 11 in Birmingham, um, Ethan, who is nine in Lincoln. Eve and Rose in York, thank you girls. Thank you to Max who is 11 in Northampton and Holly and Neve in Aberdeen and Grayson in South Wales and Jabali who is nine who um, was meeting us on Zoom from Kenya and uh, Lottie and Ed in Hearts, Claire, Sophie, George and Lizzie in Edinburgh, all four of them in the same Zoom screen. Uh, Lara um, who is 11. Uh, thank you for your input, Lara. Caitlin, who is local in Linslade, Will and Connie, and uh, Jesse, who is 11 in Kent, Kirsten, who is in Lincolnshire, and Emmanuel, who is 14 in Croydon. Thank you so much to all of you for your fantastic help yesterday. You're all absolute stars, and um, I'm going to be using all of your ideas in my upcoming vlog. So shall we move on to the Key Stage 3 spellings? I think we should. I'm going to move that out of the way. Okay. So, pens at the ready. And we will move on to the key stage three ones. So, number one. Dementedly. Dementedly. Number two, excavation, excavation. Number three, supernatural, supernatural. Number four, Frankenstein, Frankenstein, which isn't the name of the monster, but is the name of the professor who creates the monster. Bet you didn't know that. Actually, I bet most of you guys did. Number five, irrational, irrational. Number six, tempestuous, tempestuous. Number seven, indefensible, indefensible. Eight. Number eight, <laughs> reprehensible, reprehensible. Number nine, formidable, formidable. Number 10, peculiar, peculiar. Number 11, 
my lucky number. Sinewy, sinewy, great descriptive word. Especially if you're describing your frightful characters that we did in yesterday's Key Stage 1 to Key Stage 2 lesson. That would have been a great word. 12. Perfect. Number 12. <laughs> Perturbed. Perturbed. Number 14, intimidate, intimidate. Number 14, disquiet, disquiet. And the final word in the key stage three spellings is peripheral, peripheral. Okay, let's have a few shout outs. Uh, William Davies would like a shout out. Hello to you. Hello to Isabel and Harry in Daventry. Um, and they want me to tell Nanny good luck because she's doing it against them in her own house. Uh, and Claire loves the lessons. Thank you very much, Claire. I love teaching them. So uh, let's get these spellings on the board. Here we go. Okay, uh, just a minute or two to check your spellings. And if you need to, you can pause the screen um, or you can just have a little dance around and check them later. Fine. Good luck. Sharisha, who is here for her last live lesson before she goes back to school. Hope you've enjoyed them, Sharisha. going to move on do you need more time uh, we're going to move on um if you need to you have to come back and um, watch the video again and pause it to see the spellings so um for those of you i've seen in the live chat some of you saying oh i get all of them wrong and i'm not very good at spelling um as i always say it's absolutely fine to get things wrong um people always get things wrong it's a learning opportunity um, and not everyone is good at spellings to start with. It takes time and practice. Some people are natural at it. Some people have to work at it. In the same way, pe some people are natural athletes and other people have to really work at it. So um, don't get down on yourself if you don't do well in a spelling test. Um, just see it as a learning opportunity. So we're going to move on to the key stage four spellings. So pens at the ready. I'm going to take my little white pen for this one. So, number one, formaldehyde, formaldehyde. Number two, perpendicular, perpendicular. Number three, irrevocable, irrevocable. Number four, 
Number four, decapitation. Decapitation. <laughs> Number five, antihistamine. Antihistamine. Number six, exponential, exponential. Good luck with these ones, they're tricky. Number seven, experiential, experiential. Uh, number seven, reincarnation, reincarnation. Number eight, Transylvania, Transylvania. Number nine, electrolysis, electrolysis. Number 10, maniloquent, maniloquent. Now, if you don't know what these words mean, make sure you look them up after the lesson and have a go at using them in a sentence. It will really stretch your vocabulary. Number 12, solipsistic, solipsistic, solipsistic. It's a tricky one. Braggadocious, braggadocious. Sounds like an arrogant dinosaur. That's not quite what it is though. <laughs> Number 14, the penultimate spelling in key stage four and the penultimate spelling for the entire spelling test today. Dichotomy, dichotomy. And finally, the last word in the key stage four spellings is indiscriminate, indiscriminate. Okay. So we've got a few more shout outs. Thank you very much, Mummy English. You're doing an, a sterling job today. Um, happy birthday to Hannah, whose birthday is tomorrow. Um, Faye loves my necklace. Thank you very much, Faye. And uh, Dave in Vienna. Big shout out to you and hello to James and Alex who are trying each week. Well, trying is all anyone can do. And uh, so well done to you for that, for, to both of you, James and Alex. Um, shout out to Sophie. Hello to Harriet and Max and um, Tilly in Walton on Thames who is trying all four key stages today. Well, I hope you've done well, Tilly. So the spellings. Here we go. Play. You can't wait on their affirmation. There we go. You can't wait on their approval. You can't wait on their support. Sometimes you just gotta run and look behind you and say, everybody who wants to run, run, but I can't stop running because you're not running. Listen, listen to me, hear me. You can't stop chasing your dream just because somebody in your life is chasing it. You can't stop believing in yourself just because somebody in your life is believing in you. You can't stop chasing the dreams of your life just because you, you know what you do and you're going to have to do it all by yourself.
the instant opens. Okay, uh, so I'm going to slide these across. Hopefully you did well across all of the key stages that you were trying to do today. Um, so thank you for joining in with the Spellathon. I hope that you enjoyed it. So um, lots of you may well be aware now that um, I will be stopping my daily live lessons um, in a couple of weeks time. Um, but I'm stopping that so that I can have a little bit of a rest because I've been going 12 weeks now with a lesson every day. Um, and also because I've got lots of really exciting projects in the pipeline and I need to give them some time and attention. And they include a weekly vlog um, called Chapter and Verse that I will be starting uh, very soon. In fact, two weeks on Monday. So I'll be giving lots more information about that very, very soon. Um, although I will be stopping my daily lessons, I will still run the Spellathon every Friday until the end of the summer term. And um, I will be chucking in a few special lessons here and there anyway. Um, but this isn't the last of me. Um, you'll, you're stuck with English with Holly for some time now, I'm afraid. Thank you for joining me today. And uh, have a lovely afternoon and I will see you at 11am on Monday morning for a fabulous vocabulary stretcher lesson. Bye bye.